it's been one and a half years, but guys, we 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 we, we somehow came back. Due to popular demand, of course. We're yeah, back. due to popular totally. demand. It's been a hot second. They're, these are trying times. It, it's and we time travelers, to remember? I think that was part of the law. <laughs> we had law? Yeah, we are. We had law. Oh. And it was like, oh, we were time travelers. Are you the weirdo that writes the wikis? <laughs> yeah, we, I was like, I think I was 38 one and a half years ago. That means I must be like 40 now, I guess. Yeah, yeah. same. Around about. Uh, no, but... I, I, I'm just as confused as the people watching this now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm mean, sort of saying we don't have a feet wiki, but... I think we all, I think part of we our brand was that we were just generally really confused. Yeah. What? Yeah, that, that... Oh, Wait, what? Friend. What's going on here? <laughs> yeah. uh, this has been a very aw awkward start. But anyway, yeah. we're back. Uh, uh, I'm here, Oscar's here, Jordan's here, and Jack is here. We are here. The original so four. Here. The original Wait, four. We, did we um, have anyone else? I can't even remember. We had Lucas. We had, no, he, we had, we had Lucas as, as a... As, yeah, as an announcer, yeah, see, he was the disclaimer. Yeah, but then he was fired. <laughs> we had that one. We had that one episode where where Tol got joined or something. Oh yeah, yeah like we, we oh, yeah, oh yeah, I remember that. Someone Basically, snuck yeah. him in through like the back door, yeah. and we're like, "What?" Exactly. Yeah, I yeah, guess you're here now. <laughs> Wait, that's crazy, bro. I don't remember, remember that, bro. But yeah, I don't even think you were there. Actually, it's no, been I wasn't, a while I wasn't and a long quarantine where we've been mostly at home. I hope. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Well, I am. Except for like, mark my that first day back to school. Oh, yeah, right. But yeah, and we've hopefully played games and watched media. I oh, yes, 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 yes. I've tried. <laughs> see that, see that tried. cool segue? You try. <laughs> what have okay. y'all done? Well, so what... Oh, gosh. Damn it. I was going to ask the question so I didn't have to answer the question. No, no, you well, it's not time for Adam's quirky questions yet. No! 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 <laughs> okay, but yeah, what, 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 what have we, what have, what type of media have we consumed lately, lads? A lot of video games. Same. A lot of insomnia. Too. Yeah, a lot of video games. Like insomnia, like the video game you play? Game. Insomnia, the real life, the real life uh, problem. The real life phenomenon. Yeah. I see, is it like amnesia? I guess so, I mean. Like... The drug descent. You know, at this point, we might as well I... have forgotten what day we what day it is. What? Uh, I mean, I tend to. <laughs> I'm staying on brain. Okay, I, I do oh, what I usually. My brain. I do what they oh. usually do and just not sleep. True. I see. That doesn't sound happy, Jack. I so think you haven't really know. changed over this one and a half years, really. <laughs> Jack gonna come out with no, this I looking have. like the Russian speed experiment. I have. You know what? You know what, you know what has happened? What? This one and a half years, I failed the year. Well, Again. yeah, you did. The thing that happened. Alright. Well, yeah. And draw the graduates half. now. Can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're Woo. 40, remember? Uh, yes, In the original had... timeline. We, we did that like. <laughs> In the original timeline. We did that like we're 22 all, all years ready. ago, remember? <laughs> but we're in the past now. I feel like this is going to be a trend in this episode. We're just going to have a normal conversation, and Jack's going to come in going, No, that's against the law, guys! We can't! <laughs> I don't totally even remember the law. <laughs> I like, watched about 10 minutes of one episode about two <laughs> days ago. Come on, Adam doesn't like Hollow Knight. That's against the law. <laughs> what? Hollow Knight? You can't talk about that here, boy. Hollow Knight? You could only talk about that here. Yeah, exactly. Come on. <laughs> We had two it's, Hollow Knight specials. In two of the seven episodes we had, you talked about Hollow Knight, okay? I think that's oh, enough. I think he talked about Hollow Knight in every I'm, episode. I, yeah, no, so... no well, he tried to talk about it, but we kept him from, from talking yeah. about so, it. So, like, there is a bunch of cool stuff I did in Hollow Knight. Like, uh, there's randomizers now, which I haven't... Uh, uh, I got away with talking about it. Oscar, 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 I have literally no fucking idea what you're talking about. Wait, no, do. what about Dunbro? Dumb, the, yeah, Dung Bro is the only thing Jack remembers from Hollow Knight. <laughs> the only oh, thing I remember. Yeah, he's still Dumb in the bro. game. How do you remember that? <laughs> he's still in the game, he's saving his hand from Wait, I, I, Adam never explained what the fuck Dung Bro is. <laughs> oh, right. right, right, that's when you, like, fucking. Yeah, it was like. <laughs> you destroyed it was... my hopes and dreams. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dung Bro. Dung Bro. 
Okay. <laughs> so please talk about what. Uh, please talk about it. What is Dung Bro? Oh, Adam. Adam. Oh, uh, it's me. Well, it's this knight who is a dung beetle, mm-hmm. right? And you fight him, and but after the fight, he turns out to be a pretty cool bro, as it happens, and he does live in dung. Therefore, Dung Bro. Right. That's that's what the game files name him. Have you actually played home right now through quarantine or? No. I, I haven't turned my Switch I'm on in the last seven oh. months. That's same, but like it's on PC, so I don't even That's own it on PC. I just have it on my Switch. I'm insane. I don't even own the game. Fair point. That's just that's uh. Okay, a guys, we're talking a lot about the games we played. Or have we played? Before. What have yeah. we, What have we played? Ooh, uh, ooh no. I have one. I have one. I have one. Oh, go ahead. I I played and finished The Witcher Three on the Nintendo Switch. Oh, nice! Amazing. How was it? It was really good. As oh, like yeah. a Switch game, did it's you, pretty fun. Did good. you do the mm-hmm. DLCs? Yes, both DLCs. Blood No Wine. I really like the Blood No Wine. That's good. I like I I like both. I like yeah. the 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 other one a tiny Hearts bit more. I think, no. No, yeah, no, no, I really like Blood No Wine. The like the, the, the having your own house was fun. I, I just that's just like a place of money. I like the story so much with the the, the Hearts of Stone. Mm. It's like. Spoiler alert, because I just want to talk about it, because, yeah. Um, I mean, it came like, out, like, three years ago. Five years ago? Five, five, isn't it? No, the DLC three? or something. Oh, DLC, right, right. DLC, yeah. Yeah, it's like a, making a deal with the devil, and it's just fucking cool. I really like it. The story is cool in the Hearts of Stone. Yeah. And Blood, Blood and Wine is neat as well. Like, you get to become Knight Sir Geralt, where everybody loves you. Yeah. But, yeah. And the Witcher Three on Switch is it, it. I mean, it wasn't the highest quality, obviously, but yeah. it wasn't. It it was. It looked better than Skyrim on the computer, I think. So yeah, well, a lot of things can look better than Skyrim on PC, buddy. Yeah, a lot of things look better than Skyrim. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think Jack and I have mentioned our distaste towards Skyrim a little bit too often. I don't yeah, remember so mentioning it ever. Oh no, it's we like have a... mentioned it. It's like if someone made a demo for like a, a, a engine, but just made it really big, like physically a large exactly. map. It's, mm. it's like, it's like you made like a, a beginner's VR game, but then didn't put the VR part into it. And then when you did put the VR part into it, it's really bad. <laughs> and glitchy and stuff. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, that's what I've done. I have the Witcher, I have which I have switchered. And yeah, switch cool it. <laughs> the switcher. I switched yeah. the switcher exactly. free. Yeah, it's the cool lingo, man. Keep I going. got the. I I went for every sex scene possible and was not disappointed. Wait, but that. Oh yeah. But wait, that means you can't have. That means like you can't have Jennifer or Tris at the end. No, I didn't. I didn't. So, uh, That's uh... sad. <laughs> yeah. Well, you like, obviously you know... go for Jennifer every time. I Tris is so hot though, I can't decide. Yeah, but Yennefer's better. In She's every way. Annoying, though. But who's the hotter one? Tris. Yennefer. Tris is the hotter one. No. You know what? If one of us, well, Adam and I would have to play the game to completion and see which okay. one's the better Wait, one. Do I have I'm surprised huh? you haven't. Have you not I, played it? I haven't. Not yet the completely. Fuck? Like, I've finished a, like two or three hours of it. Dude, I've been playing so many other games. I, I like. See. Re- I started replaying it during quarantine, actually. Yeah, oh, nice. and I got like halfway through Hearts of Stone. Since then, have you not finished it, Hearts of Stone? No, I pl- I finished it like twice before, I see. but this is okay. like my third or fourth playthrough. Okay, it's this. Uh, like, see images in chat. It's this or this, which are the two main females. It might have okay. a. I I think I know which one is the more attractive one. Oh, upload failed. Never mind. You know, so I'm obviously, obviously, just go for the one that's already there. Yeah, for no, the no, best no. one. Just, the other one is so hot. Mm. She's American. Oh you shit! Okay. Oh I, my god, she's hot. Which one? The black one. Tris, Tris, Tris is definitely. Tris, hot. yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. She's American. I can't have her. <laughs> She's from fucking The Witcher, bro. It's not America. She's uh, Venger. Her name is Tris Marigold of Maribor, bruh. 
Oh, yeah. okay. I think I found her. She's the ginger one, lady. Yeah, she's the ginger one. All right. I, uh, I am there. Yeah, I posted it. Okay, I see. Yeah, what are we judging these ladies on? Intellect or hotness? Yeah, intellect. Intellect. <laughs> uh, okay. intellect. I know nothing about these characters. I'm judging Yennefer's them on intellect. Yeah, on intellect, Yennefer is like 100 percent better. Mm, yeah, Yennefer is. What are the names? Yennefer and Tr and Triss. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which one is more attractive? Well, so I think law wise, Yennefer's better. Yeah, that's true. But I don't give a shit. Prefer? We're going through personal preference. Yeah. Adult, adult Siri. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the secret third option. <laughs> Max Gamal is. Yes, is. I, 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 I second. No, 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 no. Olgarik is the hardest one. Olgarik? Uh, old Garrick. Oh, I thought he was like talking about someone from Skellige, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, beard. Like one of like the yeah, one of the old men from Skellige. This guy, the heart of stone boy. The, the man of mirrors. The heart of stone. Oh no! Oh my God, it's such huge. No, Olgirik. Uh, the Olgirik. Olgirik. So you're right. Yeah, sorry, Olgirik. I think he's. I'm gonna exactly. start reinstalling Witcher Three. I want to see these characters now. Yeah, they're really cool. I don't know. No, just I play, play the game. It. It's a fun game. Really yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I'm gonna like, do that. It's 42 I, I gigabytes. I'm gonna, like I'm gonna wait 20 until hours tonight. and I left it for like half a year and then I came back to it because I was bored during quarantine and I really enjoyed it myself. Literally, really well. literally the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, it's any other games well you guys done. have been playing since mm. quarantine started? No, that's fine. I've, I've been playing the same game I've been playing for a year. <laughs> fair point. Guns of Icarus. You know what? That's, yeah, that's a fair point. I've been playing Guns of Icarus and I've been climbing the ranks. You, yeah, you you're you're known... becoming a big community member now. Yeah. You're you you're known throughout the community for sipping bathwater. No, I'm known for a... no for half for buying for people buying his bathwater. I've known for a... <laughs> my SES team <laughs> bathwater exactly. And I... oh yeah yeah okay. And I'm um... and I'm known for squid engineering. <laughs> What's that? Oh, the, the actual boat. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I think last time we said. Someone told me my skills were wasted on squid engineering, and I should have just been a gunner <laughs> instead. Fair point. But yeah. Adam, what have you been playing? Uh, you know me when it comes to video games. Compared to you guys, mm. I don't do sh jack shit. <laughs> you know I don't know. I, I was playing anim I was playing a lot of Animal Crossing. Three, oh, yeah. and okay. which was well, the new actually, one? Is that a recent game? <laughs> Yes, it's, whoa, it was a recent whoa. one. Whoa! Yeah, Animal Crossing. Yeah, it was it was pretty fun. I got I got into it very much. I tried to catch every fish. I'm really? trying not to... Yeah. I, I did been... No, I didn't try to travel. I'm okay. doing it. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, I, you know, I'm trying to make sure I catch each fish available this season. I'm... The problem with games is I burn out on them too quickly. Same. Fair point. So Same. I'm... Yeah. So right now I'm kind of holding back on Animal Crossing because I know it's going to burn me out if I don't, you know, purposely hold back on it, or or I'm just never going to play it again. Yeah, so I, yeah. well, I, I can't say I can't say I'm the same. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I've I've, I've, I've uh, <laughs> I just tacked on about 160 hours on Dota 2. Oof, that's sad, man. Whoa, is that, is that like your most someday. played game? <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> Whoa, is that your most played game now? It is, yeah. <laughs> oh it's my. pathetic, I have <laughs> one... Be like, I have ADHD, I must... I have 1,800 hours in Goi now. <laughs> you know what? I've only started playing Dota since quarantine started, so I think I'm pretty pretty far ahead on my, on my scale. <laughs> God, really? Holy shit, that's like... Oh my god, that's that's probably days of time, weeks of time put into Dota during the quarantine. Yeah, uh, exactly. Try, try about two months. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, like, if you condensed all the time, it would be weeks. It would be about five days, six okay, days. How much, how, like, what's, how, what percentage fun do you get out of those six days? Like, how worth is it? Uh, you know what? I'm not going to mention my win, per my win percentage, because it's all negative. 
Oh, <laughs> but like fun. That's How fun. do you get negativity well, percentage? Usually it's always reasonably high. Re okay. Because you get some good games out of some good teammates, especially if four of them are your friends. The Fair. best part, the best part is being in the chat. Like I play Dota with them a lot, but I don't do it. I I do it with a very more of a. I'm gonna pick this character and I'm gonna play and be shit at the game yeah. kind of attitude. Yeah. And it's great when they start raging because it genuinely makes me laugh. I think yesterday Tolga just went on a complete rant because we ran into a Russian that started insulting him. And he started screaming back in Russian, and then he <laughs> went on a complete rant, and I absolutely lost it. He just went so far off the rails. He started talking about how he hated Eastern Europeans, and by the end of it, he was like, "I didn't mean anything about Eastern Europeans. I'm just fucking angry." And it's, that's the best part of the game is hearing people get really, really upset. Yeah, and, uh, and so I recommend you play it with him with friends who know how to play the game. Exactly. I think I played it like twice this quarantine and I only played Witch Doctor. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you only lost. Yeah, I only lost. I think I did well though, at least. You did okay. I think it's just the matchup's really bad. I don't mm. care. I just uninstalled the game like afterwards. <laughs> you know, again, that's pretty- that's I can't hard. Unga Bunga? What the frick? I can't, I can't <laughs> Unga Bunga. But he has like the best lines though. They're like so. F they, they are literally fucking unga bunga the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> this is bullshit. I can't win like this. What the fuck? Uninstall. You mean I can't win with this unga bunga character? What I can't just go unga bunga every time and win. Exactly. This is it's not working. I don't get it. I do I can't believe it, guys. How many? As many times as I unga bunga, I still can't kill. Him. This is unrealistic. <laughs> Welcome, this is our new fucking flex tape commercial. Every time I own Gabunga, it does a tape. <laughs> but yeah, well, anyway. Um, from, from what I heard from, uh, from like, MOBAs and shit, is that you just get incredibly depressed and angry while playing them. Like, when you lose, you're just fucking, a day is ruined. Oh, yeah, and when you win, it's like a out. tiny, tiny serotonin. I've never heard Tolga as sad as I've seen, like, from playing this game. Oh, yeah. no, 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 that's not the case. I've seen him sadder. <laughs> Uh, well, it's I, rare, I've seen him well, sadder. Fair point. It's pretty close. <laughs> but yeah. So, but you still enjoy it though. You're not at the target. I'm level. not at the suicidal part yet. <laughs> no, I'm still enjoying it. <laughs> okay. Nice. I've just replayed Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order for the fourth time. <laughs> Is that the MMO? No, it's the... Oh. It's the Souls-like Star Wars game. Wait, that's... Wait, what? For the PlayStation 4, or was uh, it? No, I have it on PC. Alright, okay. It's the EA one, right? Uh, Respawn, yeah. yeah. Oh, right, right. Sorry, I thought you were talking about the Old Republic. Sorry. No, no, no. 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 Uh, full Nordic. Okay. Yeah, that was that game. Good? Oh, it's amazing. Really? I've heard it's like horribly glitchy. No, they fixed that so easily. I see. I, it, it just looks so generic. It's like, oh. Oh, but it's fun. Uh, uh, Mr. Hero Man have big sword. He have the move of roll and hit and do the ability. Yeah, yeah. you're describing a Jedi to me. I don't understand. You're describing. You're, you're describing. No, no, it's a like a sorcerer. It's like every. I want to say. But you know how like all like Ubisoft Souls games game, are. Though. Every Souls game is the same. Yeah, but Souls games have a fucking passion. Souls games have like a fucking lore written by fucking. Uh, it's basically a Souls game, but the lore is pre-written by George Lucas. Yeah. Yes. I'm guessing. Is well, it actually... Hmm? Is it actually, like, souls -y and strategic and shit? Uh, depends on the enemy, yeah. I see. It's just like a hack and slash, like, uh... No, no, it's absolutely not a hack and slash. You don't fight, like, a hundred opponents at the same time and go, I press one button nice. and everything dies. It's more... There's two enemies over there, one to my left, one to my right. I need to be careful about how I go about this. I see. Because I might get sh I might get one shot. I see. So yeah. Okay, so it is a yeah, strategic and shit. It's a strategic game, yeah. But you're a Jedi, just go poo poo. <laughs> you're not a powerful Jedi. You're very weak. <laughs> you you you're a Padawan for most of the game. Mm -hmm. I see. But yes, very fun game. I recommend it. It's pretty pretty heavy requirement wise though. If you ever have a spare PS4, let me know. <laughs> You know what? Uh, yeah, buddy. 
<laughs> yeah, I actually do. It's literally unplugged on the side. Bro. 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 I haven't plugged oh, it in yeah, like bro. two, three years. I'll give you my copy of the Switcher 3. <laughs> I've already got it on PC. It's on Switch, though. <laughs> but I've got it on PC. But you can get the Nintendo Switch in-game. Uh, I, I, I don't think I, like, opened my Switch in about a year. Fair. Yeah, it's been a while since I opened mine. Yeah, I just played The Witcher. <laughs> oh yeah, I, uh, I downloaded Gwent, the the Witcher card game. Oh, like oh. outside it of came the out Witcher. A couple, it came out like a couple weeks ago on PC. I thought it like was on, on PC for like ages. No, remember. on Steam, on Steam, on Steam. All oh, right, I remember like playing it on PC I, I, about yeah, also two years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? But I'm, that's what I'm confused because you can play Gwent in the Witcher. You can play Gwent in the Witcher, yeah. It's pretty in depth in already like the actual big. Big super good Despite game. Despite the fact yeah, no. that I, I never pay attention to it in the game because I just don't know how to play. <laughs> I've tried to be, it's a bit. It's fun. It's really fun. Also, the, 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 there are like some things you, like some very minor things that you can do with Gwen, like uh, yeah. save the, <laughs> save the sister in the Bloodline DLC. I think you can five hundred coins. What? I think yeah. you could, but you, I think you could like do everything without doing Gwen though. Yeah, but you, you just have to like pay and stuff. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I, I, had, at that point, you've already got like 20k, so it doesn't matter. I guess, yeah. I don't know. I, 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 I try to be like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm the Mr. Witcher man. I need to play some cards once in a while to, Just to really cool my cool off. Yeah, exactly. And like, oh, I'm at a cool party with hot women. I want to play cards now, because why not? Mm -hmm. Instead of playing around with women, I play cards. No, no, I no, am no, a true no, man. I am the Witcher. I am the Witcher, I play cards. I am the Witcher 3. Okay. <laughs> I am There's Geralt the Witcher 3. <laughs> <laughs> nice. There's nice. three Witchers in the, by the end of the game. So. I'm actually, it's like four. Four? Yeah. Oh man. Uh, actually, technically five, because you kill one. What? Yeah. What? There's like side quests and shit, remember? I'm sure. Did you kill one? Yeah. What's that quest? It's like, uh, you go into, like, some old village and everyone's fucking dead, and you're like, oh shit, what happened here? And you find out that a witch had killed everyone. Hmm, I haven't come across that. I'll keep going. Huh, that's interesting, I didn't know that. Cool. Yeah, and then there's, like, another one called Lefo, and you could invite him to Kaer Morhen, and he helps fight the Battle of Kaer Morhen. Oh, really? Yeah. That's so cool, I love that. Yeah. Like, uh, some of the... Because this is a minor spoiler if y'all ever going to play it, but it's just a really cool thing because you can go through the story and you get side quests by doing the story. So you don't like miss anything by not exploring. You can you have everything available to you and you can do the side quests if you want. And that's why I did most of them. I did most of the Triss ones because duh. And and it's like, yeah, exactly. And you get rewarded for like doing side quests later on by just saying, oh, these camps are now in your favor and they will help you at, at this big, like, quote unquote, final battle. Against the bad guys, quote okay. unquote. Pretty cool. Yeah, and I, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I really enjoyed that part. The Battle of Camorn is like one of my favorite missions. Yeah. It's really fun. Yeah, I like the one where you go through those several worlds with Avalok. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I thought that was kind of boring. It looked really amazing, though. I mean, it looked good, but like. It was a bit uninteresting most of the yeah. time, because you just run that's, around, and like, I, I think fair. at one point when, you remember like the gas one, where you had to like, run through gas and stuff? Yeah, 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 the, yeah. the, the I just kept the getting, Mario Odyssey wood place. Yeah, you just kind of get lost a lot. Yeah, I guess. I don't know, I enjoyed, I was just like, taking in the views and like, oh. The ice one was good. The ice bit was good. Okay. Yeah, like the, uh, yeah. I, don't know, I I like that part. That part stuck out to me. It's like, well, this is not just an average game. This is like, fucking cool as hell. Because yeah. there's lore behind everything. It's mm -hmm. neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's this is turned into the Witcher episode. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to uh, half the people here can't talk about it. Well, you should have played it. You I'm had a part you of you right now. You've had five sure, years. We need to accept that we suck. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. I'm playing. I'm, I'm sorry. I play other games too. You've I'm had doing, five the, years the, to do it. A clearly better game. You've had five <laughs> years to do it. I finished it like three times at this point. 
Like I finished, I played through the entirety of it three times. You could have done the same. But and I've played Star Wars five times. Yeah, you could have been yeah. quite a bit. Star Wars, no other title or subtitle, just Star Wars. Yeah, bro, all of Star Wars. Yeah, I get it. I all of it. The Lego games, the Old Republic, somehow <laughs> played through multiple times. <laughs> have you played Star Wars Episode Racers? No, I haven't. Is that the one in the background of the Phantom Menace? Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it's like Star Wars Episode One Racers is basically Star Wars Pod Racers for the N64. I see the really old one. Yes, I have it on my N64 and I've been playing <laughs> a lot. And it's coming to Switch and I'm so fucking excited. Wait, what? Because <laughs> well, of the ports. Yeah, so yeah. Like no, 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 it's not, coming, it's not coming to ports because they announced the Knights of the Old Republic. And then they announced right after it, and also fucking Star Wars Episode One Racers is coming out. And then I lost my shit. Yeah, for Switch, it's coming out for Switch. I don't know if it's a reason. I've I've just bought Star Wars Episode One Racer on Steam. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) because it's a great game, and everyone should own it. I that I lied. If you don't want to own it, that's fine. I am incredibly biased. I don't want to own it. Yeah, fair enough. There's like now. There's like the arcade version of Star Wars Episode One Racers, where you're actually inside the the pod racer, like you're inside and it moves, and it was so cool, and I loved it so much as a kid, and I am incredibly biased, and I will stand by this game. It looks like it's made right. using the same engine as Half Life One. Well, yeah, it's 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 from '96. Mm-hmm. Makes sense that it it's says an old game. It looks like an F Zero game. It says 1990. Oh, Padres, of course it looks like an F Zero game, buddy. I've actually been playing a lot of F Zero recently oh, during quarantine. Really? really? That's cool. Yeah, the soup on the Switch on the Super Nintendo uh, ports. I and I've, I've gotten quite good at it, but it is it's still a Super Nintendo port game, so it's still mm-hmm. fucking difficult as shit. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's really, I don't know. It. I've it's, oh, it's, it, it's one of one of the AI cheats, right? Or, yeah, it is the one where the AI cheats. It's mm. kind of a little bit what? annoying. I don't know. Uh, I, I have genuinely raged at F-Zero because there were mm. times where I'm just winning and winning and winning and then, like, one of one of the ships that's not even in the race bumps into you and then you hit the wall and you hit the other <laughs> Out the of wall. nowhere. Yeah, it's mm, very incredibly annoying. <laughs> but, yeah. What can you do? Fair point. Um... Yeah. It's... I've been playing a lot of War. I found someone to play Warhammer well, games with. Just gone by a lot. You s- you found someone to play Warhammer games with? Yeah. yeah Warhammer games. I've uh, like we we played through like several 40k games. Oh, 40k, I see. Yeah, and we played through like Retribution, and right now we're playing through Battlefleet Gothic 2. Oh uh, no. Yeah. Have you fun. just played through so many games like that just casually? Especially Warhammer games that are like fucking massive. They're not like the retro, like the Dawn of War wasn't actually that long. It took us about a week to get through. I see. And then we kind of just, and then we did both the DLCs for it, and we did. Uh, we started Retribution, and we did like one campaign, and we got bored and stopped. And then we moved on to Battlefleet Gothic Two. <laughs> hmm. I see. Oh That's yeah. Nice. Sounds nice. Yeah, I, I played Final Fantasy 15 Windows Edition. Oh, wait, which and, one? Uh huh. Yeah. Which edition? You said the Windows. Windows Edition, yeah, the PC version. What's the Because I played on PS4 before. What's the difference the remake between? Or the... No, 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 it's it's just a it's just a PC port. Oh, why, oh, do, then... why, do I need to specify like Windows? Because I just saw the because I just saw the title. Okay, I saw the title. I was like, oh yeah, that's but what it's called. No, I'm really confused. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a port version, and. It but was on amazing. The PS4 or the PS1? Or I don't know which one it was. Like, on. If it's on PS4, it's it called the PS4, the PS4 edition. <laughs> if it's on PlayStation, yeah, it's called PlayStation <laughs> edition, or what? No, no. The, the PS4, PS4, PC. No. <laughs> or, or is it like, or is it still Windows edition? It is a remake. Out of my blood, there, guys. <laughs> it is a remake, though. It's no, it's not. No, it's okay. It's the old version. It's just the PC port of the original game, yeah. Okay, yeah. I was. Thank you, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It was amazing to play yeah? for again. The old version. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's like older than me. It is just a PC port of the original game on PS4, but made for PC. It's the old version of the game. The original game on PS4. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Final Fantasy. Which one? 15. 15 Windows Edition. <laughs> <laughs> oh! No. Oh, this one! I thought you were talking about seven. No, 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 no. What? No, no, no. no, no it's no, like quite no. the. <laughs> Final okay, Fantasy I'm... 15 is the K pop band in the car one. Yeah, okay, I was. I'm, you I'm... can't say that! I, I, is, I, it's I, like. My podcast days are over. It's like Final <laughs> Fantasy, like the one of the games where you go, like, where you can't tell the difference of, between, like, eight generations of the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Basically. like, about eight games in a row are exactly the same game, just Whoa, different characters. Whoa, is it like FIFA? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, FIFA, but with a better story, in the fact that FIFA has no story. But, like, surely it's easier to tell the difference between 15 and 7 than it, it is between well, no, it's because they're, no, FIFA they're because... 2020 and FIFA 8. Oh, wait. No, well, no well, clearly there's, a, there's an easy difference to see. Uh, it's they're they're a recent game, sure, but they're they're completely different in the way they're played. What? That's that's like the one difference they have is the games look very different, different, different from each other, Jack. That's all you need to know. <laughs> okay, the games look different from each other. And one of them Whoa. has Cloud Strife in it. And yeah, one of them is the famous one. It sounds like an attack. Like, no, from Pokemon. Attack who? From, like, Pokemon or something. What? Use... <laughs> cloud Strife. Use Cloud Strife. <laughs> it was very effective. <laughs> oh. I choose cloud strike too. But yes, I played through Final Fantasy XV, it was amazing, and I recommend it for people who like RPGs. Nice. Okay, I'm out. Okay, buddy. <laughs> well... See, I'm the Witcher's in the Wait, is this the Witcher Look, special man. now? <laughs> is this the Witcher special now? We had like no, two no, whole no, nights no, 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 no. I don't want this to be Witcher special, so I'm sorry, guys. Memory of our Witcher. I shan't, I shan't, I shan't, I shan't mention the Witcher. I mean, you On Switch, PS4, and PC ever again. Oh, oh boy. Bye now, I'm not mentioning it, I swear. <laughs> I just want to know what ending Jank got, but that's fine. What do you mean, what ending I got? Like the, like the main game ending. The good ending. Which one is that? Like, Siri becomes Witcher. Oh, is that the good one? Yeah. I got the Siri becomes Empress. That's a bad one. I mean, Why? a mid-level one. Actually, it's like the kind of eh one. That sounds I like see. a good ending. How do you, how do you stop that ending? How do you get the other one? You. That's what a guide. That's yeah. that's where you consult a guide. No. You don't sell Siri out to the emperor. See, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It makes sense. I don't sell her out. She becomes happy and becomes a witcher, like she always wanted. Yeah, this is literally the happy ending. But like, she wanted to become empress in my ending. So, uh, really? I don't know, it seemed like a happy ending. I guess, like, I, guess Ger I guess your version of Geralt influenced her decision to become Empress. Yeah, no, it's cool. I think, like, the, I think, like, the proper happy and, like, the canon proper ending is like, that she becomes Witcher and becomes I happy see. as a result. That makes sense. But she becomes Empress and then she visits me in, uh, in Blood and Wine, which is cool. Mm. Well, she does, uh, I think she does uh, even as a Witcher. Oh. Uh, I see that Yennefer can visit but, you as well, so... Yeah, Yennefer visits you if you romance Yennefer in the no, game and no, Triss no, if you romance no, no, no. Nah, I know what route I'm taking already. <laughs> Yennefer. No, <laughs> sorry, but... Yennefer's so annoying, though. I really no, don't... she's not. She really is. She's like, oh! I, I trust Yes, you. exactly! Oh! Oh, I am I Yennefer! Like <laughs> she has sexy British she accent. Has... She is the. What's sexy about that? I'm sorry. <laughs> Jack, like, mm, yes, goth mummy, British GF. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Dawn. Literally everything that is undesirable in a woman. Goth woman. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 
men podcast. We love men. <laughs> Absolutely. There are no women allowed in my podcast. Okay, no okay, no okay, women okay, in my okay, podcast. Okay. No, 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 one in, no women in our club room, guys. Get them out. Uh, you guys make it sound like you have signs outside of your door that says, No girls allowed on the R. Yeah, because we're you know? <laughs> Oh, no God. girls in my clubhouse. It's broadcast. No girls allowed. Exactly. <laughs> okay. This is all. This in is chess. becoming very, very, we welcome very, all very. Mm. I think this is our most <laughs> chat podcast today. This has become our chattest podcast. It won't be our chattest podcast. Chattest. Yeah. yeah. I hope never ever chat return like. to the chat attitude. <laughs> yeah, bro, I'm a hyper chat. What do you mean? <laughs> Oh Stop yeah, me. look at me, I'm Jordan. I can grow a proper beard now. I am Chad. Good day. Exactly, sir. I've grown one to its entirety. This is about as long as it's gonna get. So oh, is, is it? Is this your? Is this the maximum? I, I don't know. I've never grown it this far. I won't know. <laughs> go, go, my child. Go, double. Lucas, Lucas has caught up and beat me, and I'm very sad. Yeah, he's yeah, gone yeah. with full Amish look. He did yeah, grow, I know. He did I saw him in German today, and I was like, "What the fuck? How did you grow a beard so fast?" <laughs> I already had a goatee. I had a head start, and I'm behind you now. I just haven't. Wait, Jordan, did you play Gwent or did you play uh, Thronebreaker? Gwent. Okay, because yeah, Thronebreaker is like a, isn't it also a Gwent game? I don't remember. It's like no, a but I, game no, but I got Gwent because it, it 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 had released a couple days ago. I see. Did you enjoy Gwent. it at all? I haven't started yet. I just installed. Oh, it. okay. It's a I, pl- I played game. it when I was playing Witcher. That's what I spent the most time on when I was playing Witcher. Really? Yeah. I don't know why, but I like okay. I like Gwent. It's fun. Okay, that's fair. Gwent. Oh man, <laughs> my 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 point. I, I do not mean to make this a Witcher podcast. It's fine. Chime in. So Animal Crossing. Crossing. Honestly, this has turned very intro- This has turned very interesting. Oh lads, lads! I caught a salmon in Animal Crossing, right? Actually, a cherry salmon. Oh my god! Whoa. Ah, sorry. What? Jesus. A cherry salmon or an actual salmon? Uh, both, I believe. I see. Yeah, it's the, like, at, sound. like at the same time? Or... No, not at the same time. Like... I wish at the same time. God. I, have, I, hold two, I hold two fishing rods. <laughs> yeah, you just hold I like... Ca- t- I catch two salmon at the same time. You have like time. two in the same mm-hmm. hand. Look, what exactly. villagers do you have, Adam? Yeah. What? What villagers do you have, Adam? Oh, I got... Um, so my first two were Rene and Antonio. So Ooh, the pink... I have Rene. Which Rene? There are two Renes. There's oh, the, the Rhino one and there's the horse. Yeah, okay. Jay has that one too. Oh, uh, oh you have a you have a Rhino. Yeah, I have a Rhino. There's. Oh, interesting. Like, yeah, so, and then um, I got Rex the lion, Dina the duck, Bubbles the hippo, uh, Hippo the hippo, Genji the ninja, and Yuka the koala. Oh, uh, yeah, that's my favorite animal. What? <laughs> ninja. <laughs> ninja, <laughs> great animal, buddies. He's a frog, right? No, he's a monkey. No, he's a, a rabbit. A ninja. ninja. Ah, what close. the fuck? The yeah. famous animal, ninja. Man, Genji the rabbit, my favorite like, Overwatch uh, character. Like, yeah. Do you mean Japanese ninja or gamer ninja? Streamer? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Epic Fortnite streamer ninja. Is yeah, on my no, own. He's not oh my god, Epic Kekkers, oh. bro. Can you make him like Epic Fortnite ninja gamer? Um, game in the world, yeah. I'd rather is one, of, is one of his quotes, I don't see enough movement. No, he's a jock, so they none of them actually have personalities, so he'll just go, Wow, bro, you got so swole, and then you go, I just caught a couple of fish in a virtual world, mate, you don't know me. And then I get sad. For some reason, uh, your Animal Crossing villagers sound like my, uh, my guests that Angel and I have in Terraria. And there was one that we kept alive for the longest time, and his name was Ryan. <laughs> Ryan the guide, and I was so happy that he lived, and then he died a couple... Uh, oh, it's like, Terraria? Yeah, bro. Oh, I see. Yeah, we got Ryan the guide as well. I've been playing a lot of Terraria through, like, multiplayer. Didn't... You cut out Wait, so why... hard for me. Oh, sorry. Why, why are they dying? Oh, because... Because well... enemies at night time. Also, you have to kill your guy just to progress in the game. Yeah, I know, but he died due, due to a, a, a goblin horde. I see. Yeah. Oh, the hordes. Awesome. Yeah, I played Terraria as well. It's also super fun and... It is really fun. I... <laughs> oh, shit, I dropped my knife. <laughs> you got a knife. <laughs> like a really bad, like, like a blunt knife, like an actual food knife. 
Because I was it's painting my door and I had to scrape off stickers off my door. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, 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 okay, the understandable. <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> yeah, no, I, bro, I, I get it. I did the same. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I had so many M&M stickers on my fucking door. <laughs> Wait, M&M the wrapper or the sweet? <laughs> the candies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it <looks so> shady, <laughs> bro. <laughs> 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 no, bro, just have so many Eminem st stickers of him just fucking saying, Mom Spaghetti, bro. It's just all the way around my door. <laughs> I, uh, like, I, 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 I was actually going to be less surprised if it was Eminem the rapper. <laughs> I was, I was... Why? That's such a strange thing because... to be less surprised about. <laughs> Why would you have, like, the chocolate... He's just a big fan, I man. got it from a fucking M&M packet. I was like, oh, I got um, free stickers. Have you seen the green M&M, though? <laughs> <laughs> I have hmm. seen the green M&M. Yo. 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 But yeah. Um, I think I was saying something. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. I picked up Terraria. Right? Yes. Like, this quarantine, and I played through it, like, a bunch. It is really fun. It is just a well-made game. It's like... It is. It's not 2D Minecraft at all. Even though that's what most people think like, who haven't played the game. Yeah, it's like exactly. What you want out of a like a just any it's it's like a, a it's like it it does what it aims for super well, and that is a two dimensional like I don't know adventure. Yeah, like an adventure game. Yeah, equipment game. It's really it's just like. They don't know, I think it's just a really well like every, the balancing is great and the and the, 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 the last fantastic. the last update is amazing. Yeah. yeah, it gives you happiness and stuff. Oh man, there's a pump to play through it. Shall make a Terraria server at some point. Uh, he tried, but it, it, Terraria servers are so stupid to make yeah. that all he does is me he he gives people a direct connection through Steam invites. Yeah, that makes that's what I do. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and it yeah, is, it's really fun. It's very funny, yeah. We made the mistake of going on the hardest difficulty that isn't hardcore, which we, in which we lose our characters. Oh, as in like character difficulty. Yeah, that's really weird. There's character difficulty and there's world difficulty. And yeah, can... we've we've uh, we've did both on hard mode. Hard. And or... we're stuck. Uh, we're stuck in hell. <laughs> we've been oh. stuck there for two sessions now, trying to get the fucking hell stones and shit. To get our to get our armor and stuff, I'm like, dude, how are we gonna get this done? And he's like, I have no idea, but we need to do this. I see. Yeah, because um, like expert and master, expert is worth it, but they added a new one, which is master mode, which yeah. is actually just everyone gets double double health, and that's it. That's like the one thing they added, which is just kind of a bit weird. That seemed like one of those like last minute add add-ins yeah. they had. But like, it is. Oh, optional. we need to give someone an extra mode, which is double health. Go, go for yeah. it. But it is just completely optional. It's just something extra, which I, I, I guess having is better than not having. Yeah, I guess. True. So yeah, I don't know. I have a lot of respect for the game because it's just really oh, well it? done. It's like you know every addition is... seems yeah makes sense. Yeah, go on. You know what else is an uh, extremely refined game? What? Despite being an early access, Hades. Yo. I wanted to. I want to play Hades so. Fucking Hades badly. is so fucking good. Yeah, I, I've seen like super so, giant so much... games are so good at their games. They made Fortnite, right? No. 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 It, they made it, Bastion. They made Transistor. Yeah. They made Pyre. It, it's on Epic Games, though, right? That's where I got the Fortnite. Uh, from. yeah, but I got it on Steam. Okay. It is so well made. It looks so being fun. Access. It is so good. I see. It's exactly what it would like in a in like a roguelike game. Yeah, it's a roguelike. Yeah, it's like yeah, I like the boons and shit. It's just really. Oh, the boons are so good, and the fact that you can just increase your relation with people just by giving them fucking alcohol. Piss. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> you give the goddess of the hunt Artemis piss, and she'll love you more. It's piss. It's it's yellow liquid, man. Yeah, it's it's the ne nectar of the gods, also known as urine. Yeah. I don't know. It looks pretty fun, uh, so and. Do you know when it's coming out of early access? Uh, no, I don't know. They're they're updating yeah. it really often though. Yeah, what's the one, what's the latest update? I I don't remember. I've because I remember I, the one with they don't update the... it that recently, but they <laughs> they add big update after big update, and it's still in early access somehow. And it seems yeah. like a game already. I see. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I 
but I bought it, and then an update happened, and then a whole new realm just appeared. Really? Yeah. Oh. It didn't huh. appear before. Oh. Well, that's really cool. It is really cool. And, oh my god, the, the weapons in that game, the way you fight, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. The, the boons, the combinations you have with other boons, which is like crits. Yeah, and then there's like... Speed increase. A grapefruit. It's, it's, like, it's just oh, a lot of yeah. good variety for uh, uh, roguelite. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I might pick it up on a laptop when I go to the UK. Just have a good because it's a good laptop game. I'm assuming it's a role play. Uh, I maybe I hope. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it is. I don't, I don't think it's too intensive. I I hope. I I doubt it. It's like a 2D yeah. game. It's a lot 2D. It's like 2.2D, 2.5. Do you maybe. know when you're going to the UK? Uh, well, actually, I might not. But for like uni and stuff. Yeah, I know, but uh, you might uh, not. Well, yeah, I might not get into anything, and then, like, I just might not get the grades required, and then just go to the Netherlands and stuff. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, I have, I have the same plans, kind of, but, that's, but that's actually about... you're away from that. That's that's no good podcast talk. We got to talk about gaming. Yes, 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 sorry. I see. I've, I've taken up a lot of conversation next time. Well, are there any games you guys are looking forward to that's supposed to come out. I say supposed to because I don't know what anything is going to happen with it. On the top square pants, the, the War for Bikini oh. Bottom Rehydrated Edition. No. <laughs> Isn't that out already? No, it's coming out in a couple weeks. I see. It's going to for it. I don't know why I'm so excited about it. It's a Spongebob uh, game. Iron Harvest. What's that? It's like a it's weird top-down um, RTS game. I randomly mm, found on Steam. Strategy. And oh, looks, okay. And it's like World War One, but with big mechs. <laughs> and I went, oh. it, no, it's like steampunk mechs or something. And I was like, fuck, what the fuck? This sounds great. <laughs> and then I just put it on my wish list. And that's. I see. Yeah, I, I feel like that gets Jack's approval as it's World War One, big mech steampunk. I feel like that reaches all your. That actually, that also kind of. It tickles my fancy as well. That seems interesting to me. Yeah. I mean, it's got, like, two criteria down. The steampunk is, like, sure, whatever. I think it's only there... I think it might only be there for the steampunk stuff, but... Yeah. <laughs> Fair point. Anything you're looking forward to, Adam? Me? Um, I'm looking forward to... Um, well, Sable's still saying it's going to come out in 2020. I doubt yeah. it. Uh, I see. But I, I'm still looking very much forward to it. I really want it. To oh, wait, out. we're talking about actual games we're looking forward to? Psychonauts 2. Oh, yeah, shit, that's coming out, isn't it? Hopefully <laughs> it's coming out this year. Don't know about their plans. You always have to add hope for you because you don't know if they're delayed or not with stuff. Yeah, and, by the, and it's been 13 years since Psychonauts came out, so I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> and I know it's happening, I just don't know when it's going to come out. And I'm really looking forward to it because it's one of my favorite games of all time, and it's a sequel, and I'm very excited. And I really hope I'm not disappointed. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Um. <laughs> Oscar, I finally finished a Factorio game. Oh yeah, you launched it off it, right? Yeah, and it was I find like after Did how fucking yeah. Like oh, at I the see. at the end, it just shows like some stats of what we killed, and you'll never oh, guess what we killed the most of. Uh, aliens. No trees. Me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't burn down everything. It was like you had new thing. Yeah, we never even got to fucking. Mm -hmm. It was bullshit though, because like afterwards, because since the update, they changed like a load of recipes and all like her mm -hmm. research. Like most of our research yeah, so... was just fucked up, and they had to like redo it all. <laughs> yeah, but like we already had a pretty good system, I think. So. Yeah. Next game when? I don't know. That was fun. You also want the summer. So what? start a new game up. Huh? Or now even like if you want to. No, I'm just talking about you guys having a new Factorio game to start. Well, up. I don't actually have the game. That's the issue. I had it through Noah, through uh, sharing whatever with Noah, but I changed computers and. Mm. And so now I no longer share library with anyone. Buy the game. It's good. Give the developers yes, money. money. Give that the developers money. I have no money. 
Oh. And oh. I don't, yeah. That's fair. That's... Other people buy the game, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of games I haven't played through at all. How do, why forget do you about those, you please. For, forget about those, play Factorio. Jack, do you like all no, the I want to. I want to play. I want to play through Resident Evil Two. Who cares about Ooh, Resident Evil you know? Two when Factorio yes, exists? I see. I care I because I like Resident Evil as a series. Yeah, same. You know what I've been really into, like what? like this no, week, yeah. PT. The oh, uh, demo. Silent Hill demo. Yeah. Because like it just finally hit me how fucking amazing the game is, that demo yeah, is. That one half an hour is is a game in and of itself, and it's so it's... amazing. Yeah, and it's fucking terrifying. It is absolutely terrifying. Like, like uh, I found it, I'm fine, but I go back into it because I saw a video where it was like recently they discovered that uh, through the whole game, there is, is the the model of the of the spooky ghost lady who's following you, like always behind your camera, that you yeah. can never see, and it's, but it's just there anyway, and and you, you, I think you can hear it, but it's just like something unnecessary and totally. Confusing. And totally Kojima, because it's just yeah. it's just behind you. You can never see it. it. It's just there to like cast weird shadows and to make weird noises, and it's just yeah. there twitching behind you. And it's just really cool. That's really cool. Because it's oh. fucking terrifying. Oh yeah, I've I haven't played it, but I've seen people play it. I'm like, oh Same. my god, this shit is so terrifying. Well, you can't play the original version anymore. Yeah, no, it's gone. But yeah. Yeah. I don't know why, but that reminds me of me going through my playthrough about last two. Mm-hmm. That if you. Yeah, that's much worse, though, isn't it? Uh, uh eh. Like, if I'm going through pure enjoyment, Outlast 1 was better. Okay. Outlast okay. 2 is weird and funky. Because, mm -hmm. ooh, funky cult people. Yeah, uh, Christian's gonna be like... Ooh. Video gonna be like, I need cult to me, I need cult to be scary. That reminds <laughs> me of Midsommar. Ooh, the movie. I've, I've watched that during nice. the quarantine. It's I've been good. I've been trying to get into contact with Marcus and I kept just forgetting to talk to him about it. I see. He's been begging me for about a year to watch it. <laughs> have you seen Hereditary? I have seen Hereditary. I've seen Which one do you think is, is better and scarier? Oh, uh, they're, they're completely different movies, so I can't really judge which one's better than I the other. I think they're really similar. Well, yeah, sure. Like, the way they're filmed and stuff. Yeah, it would look like cold If movies. I'm going through pure story... Mm -hmm. They're completely different, and that's what I judge two, yeah, that's fair. two movies in. Mm -hmm. They're both very similar in terms of filmmaking and how to set the tone in a film. Yeah, but similar in terms of I can't films. tell which one I like more because they're both so different, yet they're so similar. Mm -hmm. I, I, I see. If I'm going story wise, I like Midsummer more. Yeah. But if I'm going through pure like, enjoyment of the movie, Instead of just the pure what the fuck moments you get from Midsommar, Hereditary is better. Because it's so much more concise and understandable, mm -hmm. yet so inconcise and ununderstandable in, Her in Hereditary that you just go, I don't know what the hell that meant. And then 20 minutes later, you're like, oh, oh that's fuck. what that one thing 20 minutes ago meant. Or, or like also, and then a week later, you're like, oh, wait, fuck, that's what it actually, actually meant. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just hereditary, just so much more terrifying. I definitely agree with that. Just, I just, I still think about that one scene when mm -hmm. the ma the mother is hovering on top of the on top of the sun, cutting her head off with piano wire. Yeah, it still terrifies me to this day. Or like, like the one where just like the man shows up, the naked guy. Yeah, that, that one fucked me up as well. Or just the, the random in 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 class, the sun just. Poof, headbutts the headbutts yeah, the fucking yeah. and just screams, mm -hmm. and I'm like, it was How? so well done. It's so well done, and like, it just, you just keep thinking of the ending scene as well. Yeah, of the music. It's just really so, mm -hmm. so good. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I don't understand why people kept saying Hereditary and Midsummer sucked. There was no sense mm -hmm. of action in those movies. The ending Hereditary was fucking stupid. It made no sense, and Her and Midsommar was stupid. It was so, so weird that it made no sense, and it was so stupid. I'm like, okay, yeah. Well, then you have no idea what the hell the the director tried to do with the movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just 
I don't know. It's not for everyone, I guess. It absolutely is not for everyone. It's Did very you see hard. how, like, the whole movie, like, remember that the, the first frame is, like, the weird mural? Yeah, yeah. And it's literally the whole movie? It is. It's, it's just so really whack. Cool. Yeah. I like and those movies. I watched it with my parents, and I was like, you know, this movie's apparently really good. Marcus mm-hmm. recommended it to me. We watched it, and then there was the, there was the mural with the where where the the redhead on the mm-hmm. mural took out her pubes and put it in the in the fucking pie. Oh, is that in the in the starting mural? Uh, no, it was later on. Yeah, in the, in the it was in the like the cloth mural that passes by after the after the the British couple mm-hmm. see the 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 ritual house. Yeah, and it like. When the the meal happens, it's just it hits you like, wait, that was in the mural. Wait, exactly. That guy... And it's not spelled out either. It's not like oh, uh... it's not. Yeah, it's not in your face going. This is what happens in the movie. Like if you miss it, you just miss it, and it's probably stuff. Yeah, like, wait, well, how does how is this relevant to the story? How did he get sexually attracted to this girl? Now I don't understand how this works. Mm-hmm. It's it's spelled out for you, but in a in in such a in ordinary way. Yeah. You have to actually it, pay attention. Yeah, exactly. It's or, yeah. Oh, the small thing that small thing like why is his glass why is his why is his juice darker than everyone else's like, juice? Mm-hmm. Which you wouldn't like pay attention to if you weren't like writing new about the you know, look at the stuff. Yeah, makes sense. Mm-hmm. I I researched stuff after the movie and was like, oh yeah, so that did happen. His juice was darker than everyone else's. Like, why was that? Oh yeah, because she had her. Mm-hmm, no. Her. Really describe it. Yeah. <laughs> her special stuff was in it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is the most amazing conversation out of context. I know none of these movies, and I just heard no? it's all the mural. She puts the pubes in the juice. The juice is dark. <laughs> oh, no, not the juice. It's, it's kind of it's... obvious that amount. <laughs> <laughs> It seems kind of like that, I think it's time for you to watch the movie. Mm-hmm. No. Wait, what kind of is it's you described it as a, what was it, a horror movie or not yeah. just like a dark horror it's, or something? Like it's an art house horror flick. Yeah, it's horror. Oh, okay. I think it's like a ho- more of horror than any like jump scare horror movie. That's just like oh, absolutely. It's, I, it's the tone of, mm-hmm. of like yeah. you do not want to be there. It's just it, you are actually just scared through it. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm not um, great with horror films, so. <laughs> and me neither. I just say like. They're just they're just great horror has, films. They're they're not. Yeah. They're not like, jump scare horror films, which was a which is, mm-hmm. which which is missed a lot in this generation because yeah. you got yeah. movies like Insidious and The Conjuring, Paranormal I mean, Activity, Insidious, films, where you just get jump scares every two seconds. Like, did you get? Mm-hmm. Did I get you? Good. Yeah. Oh, here's the other one. You got got. <laughs> uh, you got got. You got you got. You got, baby you got pant. <laughs> did you jump this time? Good. Let me give you another one. Mm-hmm. It's Midsummer also had the, the tone that made you so uncomfortable mm-hmm. that you started laughing. And it's yeah, it's like it's also just great because it is you know during Midsummer, which is when everything is daylight. Exactly. Which is not a horror movie thing at all. It's like it just it's it's constantly bright and that all this fucked up shit is happening. Mm-hmm. It just it's just really well done. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh man, I love that movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, same. Best horror movies. <laughs> Still haven't watched The Lighthouse, though. Ooh, The Lighthouse is fucking great as well. I know. It's, if you like it, it's, it's, it's more like Midsummer than uh, Hereditary, for sure. Oh, yeah, I, I've seen some scenes of it. I've heard you and Marcus talk about it as well. It's it's really good, yeah. It is really good. Alex also really likes it. Of course he does. Yeah, it's fantastic. I just think it's every movie. Well. What do you mean? <laughs> It looks every Sorry. movie that is Star Wars. <laughs> but yeah. Adam, have you watched any movies recently? Um, oh yeah, I've yeah I've watched watched a ton. Um, you, I, you, what I usually do is try to watch the Oscar one. So I watched the Irish, uh, the Thank Irish you. one. Um, it, it was a bit long for me taste personally. It was good. It was good. I'm not saying it, of of course with an entire cast, director, and writing team. With so many legendary names, you kind of can't mm-hmm. not make it good, you know? Probably, but yeah. I understand why it didn't win the Oscars, because I saw Parasite before that. And yeah. honestly, that shit was... It, it was a... Like, yeah, it was great. compare it to the last couple of Oscar winners, you go, this that, that it blows them out of the water, in a way. Yeah, yeah for sure. 
the, green, just, the green book uh, or whatever. Le- well, in all fairness, I really like the green book. I oh, really enjoyed that. I, I genuinely enjoyed the green book. It was lovely. I now it was I now genuinely listened to Don Shirley, the who, who who's the pianist. Um, but he okay. it was based on the real life story between him and the, his bodyguards kind of guy. Mm-hmm. So but now I genuinely listened to John Shirley because of the movie. But okay. it, but the par- parasite really just it it was just so well done and it was just done at such a amazing level consistently throughout the movie mm-hmm. it's just now all other following movie makers really need to fucking up their game if they want to get anywhere closer yeah it's just so interesting yeah, yeah it was it was so good. there was nothing in the movie that wasn't done with intention you know? yeah that wasn't like no, or anything everything no detail there was like every fucking stain in every fucking scene was their intentional yeah it's like and it it's like we're it's like scene one we're gonna do this thing scene two we're doing this thing there is no bullshit in between that is unnecessary yeah it's just it was just it was like watching like a properly well oiled machine work and then and then the machine crashes and burns perfect yeah but well like a satisfying way you have that in every movie but my point is you could you could clearly see how well it was taught out and by the end of it you're kind of blown away about how this thing just by you're just blown away by it in a way yeah but you don't you, but, and you never expect it either no you know no you know i was not expecting that i went <laughs> yeah. to the parasite going i have no idea what this is going to be where about is, where is the parasite gonna show up man i'm <laughs> a big bug okay no i, I got the parasite <laughs> metaphor uh, I at least. <laughs> wait no you didn't i didn't really know anything about parasite at all oh you haven't seen it no i, ha- I haven't seen it yet Oh, you should definitely watch it. It's about it. a big oh, bug. It's, yeah. <laughs> okay, Oscar. Wait, say Hollow Knight? You're going to be such an idiot, okay? <laughs> Please, man. No, but it, it's genuinely great. Mm-hmm. Um, I watched it with my uh, with my parents, and um, my and it really shows it really showed the different age gap between, you know... Uh, it just showed an age gap because he was complaining about how the subtitles were going too fast, but, but me and my brother, we have spent enough time watching, watching anime. And not just anime, because I watch a lot of Russian and uh, French cartoons as well, and sometimes I get subtitles with French cartoons. But my point is, we spend a lot of, like, I just saying this, not generation, because I hate that word, but mm-hmm. younger kids spend more time mm-hmm. watching foreign shit with subtitles, so they're genuinely more used to the subtitle shit. Because I was genuinely surprised when my dad was like, oh, the subtitles are too fast. Because me and my brother were kind of looking at each other going, I'm pretty sure they slowed the subtitles down just mm-hmm. because they wanted the Oscar, because they wanted people... The, all the old boomer voters. Well, I don't want to say old boomer voters, but yeah, sure. I don't want to say old boomer voters. <laughs> oh, another movie I watched, uh, it was the closest thing I watched to a horror film was Vivarium, um, with Jesse Eisenberg was in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like this you know how um a cuckoo lays its egg in another nest and then that chick kills all the other guys and then like the bird the bird parents have to raise the a different kid yeah it's kind of based around that concept so it's like this couple with no child end up buying a house in this suburb that goes on forever and ever and it's like and then they're just stuck with this weird old child that they have to fucking raise this demon child. Is is the child Jesse Eisenberg? No, no, Jesse Eisenberg is the dad. Look, I know oh, Jesse Eisenberg shame. is a child, but please. Shame, shame, shame. Eisenberg has a bit of paper face, but he's a bit old for that role. Nah, he can be a great demon child. Have no, you but... not seen little have you not seen Little Man? No. <laughs> is that the is that the fucking midget baby? Yeah, yeah, it no. is. <laughs> no, 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 no. But yeah, it it was pretty bad. Like I I do kind of like concept of it, that because I like the idea of a horror story that goes into the primal fear of people, and that primal fear being raising a fucking child, because it is a genuine fear, because for different reasons for different people. But it's yeah. just the idea that you're raising a different person's child, and this child is making your life a hell. And that concept was great, but it was horribly done because the suburb 
have you ever seen Cat in the Hat, the movie? Yes. Something from that, you know? <laughs> it was like, <laughs> color, like from a cartoon, and I was like, this is kind of, I'm trying to feel scared, but it's very difficult when I can imagine fucking a... <laughs> fucking yeah. Same one, I think, too. I ain't through the door and going, hey, <laughs> it's what's up? So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and it got really psychedelic in the end for no apparent. I don't know. I don't recommend the film uh, very much, but it's the only horror film I really watched this year, so yeah, that's why I mm -hmm. mention it. I have watched another horror movie that is like extremely hyper violent yeah. because it just needed to be. It, it wouldn't have worked otherwise. It was Green Room. Oh, oh I heard this uh, about this one actually. Same. Yeah, it's it's so whack. Like, do you know what it's about? No, it's I have a band, right? No, they yeah, it's about a punk band, band that it's about a punk band that got that's kind of gotten famous, mm -hmm. uh, and they got hired by uh, to do a gig for a, uh, a neo-Nazi bar, mm -hmm. and they witnessed a murder, and because they witnessed the murder, they're going to be hunted down, and they're stuck in the green room, surviving, while they're all getting picked off one by one. By and the, the the amazingness of that film is that it's always shot in the same one room. Mm -hmm. And you get uh, like f an hour and 40 minutes of just people screaming, not understanding what's going on. Uh, you get a meth lab. <laughs> is Patrick and, oh, in this film? Huh? Is Patrick Stewart in this film? Yeah. Yeah, get it. Oh, yeah. He, yeah, he's the, he's the head Nazi guy. Oh, oh, great. Uh, and <laughs> Anton Yelchin is in it, too. Anton Yelchin is in it, too. It's it's a great final role Anton Yelchin had before he died. Who's Anton Yelchin? He's, um... Ah... Uh, from Star Trek. Um, uh, Panic Suit? No, no, no. <laughs> Come on. Uh, no, the J.J. The J. Abrams films. Oh, so he's, he's the one that acts as Scotty. Chekhov. Hmm? Chekhov. Oh! oh! Right, right. Oh, I don't Ax know. Scotty? So, you mean Simon? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. I don't no, no, no. know. I've been watching too much of the original Star Trek recently to be fucking... I, I, so I mix everything up. Yeah, fair point. Yeah, it was a great final role for Anton Yelchin before he died. Um, He played amazingly. Did he have the Russian accent? No, he was a, He had an American accent. The or some shit like that. Victor, Victor. Victor, Victor, yeah. That was kind of annoying in the J.J. Abrams ones. No, it was funny. I like yeah. that scene. I see. But, I see. I, I was meaning to watch Green Room, but I never got to it. In like many oh. other movies. It's 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 enjoyable. I liked it. My parents not so much. I they see, didn't yeah. like the fact that it was so violent. It's like my mom was like, I didn't like this movie. Why? It was so it was so fucking violent. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you got at least two deaths of people getting bitten to death by dogs. So. Oof. And you saw everything. So. Mm -hmm. But it was still pretty cool. Yeah. What about you, Jack? Yeah. You <laughs> can see me from a while. I, yeah, in the same. entire quarantine, I think I've seen like one film. Okay. And it was what like, have you seen? Some Norwegian film about World War Two. Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> that was it interesting at least. It, yeah, <laughs> was it, was, good? it was a good okay, film. Good. It was a good film. It's like okay, the God. entire thing is in Norwegian, so I had to do like subtitles. Uh, the, I think it was called The King's Choice, and it was okay. like the what invasion of Norway through the entire perspective of the Norwegian king, mm -hmm. and he has to like sort of, he has to escape the Nazi invasion, like just barely, by traveling far enough and then get on the boat to Britain. I see. And it gets pretty close. I thought it was like a documentary or like a... Uh... No, it's a uh, yeah, proper Yeah, that was film. my thought as well. <laughs> it's a proper film. Okay. That's yeah. That sounds interesting. It's a good film, and it's got, like, oh, the Battle of Drawback sound in it or something, and, like, they have a tire... Sh it, it's like... They took some random Norwegian kids who were, like, were training into the military or something, and they went, what if we use these, like... 50 year old guns to kill an entire German warship and they managed to do it and they actually and they actually like did the entire scene in the film and it looks really good I see that sounds interesting 
Yeah, it was a good film. I yeah. enjoyed it. For me, the last two weeks have been filled with watching Anthony Hopkins films that I have never Anthony heard of. Anthony Hopkins. Oh, him. Yeah. Him. You see that such as? Uh, um, Solace. No clue. Where he plays as a psychic doctor, who is trying to solve a serial murder case with an FBI det- uh, with an FBI agent, which is really cool. That yes. and Transformers Five, right? No. <laughs> Uh, the other one, uh, it was a it was a court case film, where he killed his wife and he's in court for it, and then he pleads not guilty even after he confessed for doing so. Mm-hmm. Cause and she was a fucking. Um, it was it was a good film. I I, see. If you love court films, you're gonna love that one. Okay, might be interesting. Anyone excited for a film or a TV show coming up? Uh. No, God. maybe. Oh. Uh, Adam, you go, Adam. Uh, no, no, I have nothing to say. Can't you go? <laughs> I see. Well, because uh, I also watched all of Mr. Robot this quarantine. Oh. Uh, How was it? It's fucking. I really, I loved it. It's oh, like, yeah. it's, it's super, like cinema, like like as a production, it's amazing. Like the, and like all the the, the story is thought through. The acting is great. The cinematography is super interesting. It's made by what's his name, Sam. I gotta look it up. Something. I. It's made by this guy who directed all the episodes, which is not that usual. Uh... Sam Esmail. Sam Esmail. That, that that's him. It's it's about hacking, which is could be boring to some people because a lot of typing and shit. It is realistic hacking. It's not like oh I'm in. But it's yeah, like, it's not like uh, those really. It's not like those old hacker films where it's like you just mash the buttons and you go, like, yeah. "I'm in. I've cracked a mainframe." It's like it's more like, "Oh yeah, this guy, this this dumbass, and make his password strong enough, and I'm gonna crack it." Or it's just, it's it's realistic and it's super impressive as as a TV show because mm. it's, it's everything is like a movie. Like there is one full hour long episode which is a single cut. There is one. Uh, like forty minute episode where not a single word is spoken, because that's okay. like in, it's it's it, it's important to the story. The acting is amazing. The the characters it's are super interesting. There are like they're like twists every season, which I like the first the, the twist of the first season I found obvious. Twist for the second season I found fucking brilliant and amazing. And I'm not going to spoil because I think everyone should watch the TV show. I, want to. I'm going to at some point. Yes, yeah, so I'm not going to spoil it because it's. And the twist, like, made me fucking just mm. think about it for, like, a good 20 minutes. And oh, it's... Cool. Yeah, so, and I watched all of it until season four. And I'm not sure there's going to be season five, because... I think it's... Apparently... I, think, I think he's... I think they've ended it, haven't they? Yeah, it, it feels like it. Like, TV show-wise. Uh, let's see. But I heard it was in the season, so I'm not sure. Yo, have you started watching the new Castlevania season yet? No, I haven't. I haven't uh, either. Because I can't I... watch, because I have a living room. And, that sh- and, and I don't know if I can broadcast that in my tiny ass apartment. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can understand. To my family. Yeah, I, you... I watched the first episode. I haven't had a chance to watch the mm-hmm. next one. Yeah, I've, I haven't seen anything of it yet. I, all I know is that there is an angel in it. And by angel, I don't mean like, oh, haha, I have Halo. It's more like I am a huge being with huge amounts of wings covered in eyeballs that is in no way humanoid, and I fucking vibe with that shit. I love. Um, yeah, that is really cool. I love yeah. angels that are like just a ring of wings, you know, like well, that shit. I like the idea that angels don't take human form. Exactly. They're not human. They are being angels, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And circles are like, ooh, it's pure and shit. Yeah, but I will. I watched the first episode. I'm not going to spoil anything, really. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's basically it's only three months after the last episode, mm-hmm. so it's Which not is... that much time in between. And already, like fucking, uh, they, the fuck. Oh wait, what's Dracula's tongue called again? Fuck. Uh, it's not that hard. I'm <laughs> saying yeah. it backwards. Yeah, I know, but I was trying to spell it backwards in my head, and it didn't make any sense. <laughs> I see. <laughs> but yeah, Alucard's already depressed. Like he's oh. so. He's, he's a he's a god vampire. Come on. Yeah, he's oh, no. no. <laughs> Does but, my yeah. boy Hector get any? No, yeah, Hector. 
Uh, yeah, Hector is... Hector, you get yeah. screen time? Um, Hector goes... Yeah, Hector does get screen time. You see oh, what... Yeah. You, because you know how he's taken away by the vampire lady. Yeah. yeah. We see we see them finally arrive after three months of walking uh, back to her castle. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. with the entire army and shit. And mm. just Hector is just fucked up, man. I really they, like Hector as a character. Yeah, he was good. Neither, uh, but he no, he just he just gets fucked. Yeah, he, exactly. But he wasn't a good guy uh, either. So. Oh, he was definitely not a good guy. But he no, but he, he just genuinely gets like you know how he's been always he's been always a friend to Dracula and he's always hated yeah. humans. But now he's for the first time experiencing hatred of humans on himself because mm -hmm. he's always had Dracula to protect himself from that type mm -hmm. of hate from vampires but now he's just being like genuinely being treated the scum of the earth kind of thing and, yeah and it's kind of it, I, I don't know it's kind of fun and we're in being introduced and you get introduced to this Dracula cult where mm -hmm. they're like tr like these humans who are like Dracula was the one and all and if I find out who killed Dracula I'm gonna kill him he says to the people I that kill Dracula, Dracula as they're trying to sell them meat. And you're like, yeah, woo! Yeah. That's, yeah, woo. that's pretty cool, because like, in the game, it's always like, oh, a cult has revived Dracula again. So, yeah, well, we, we genuinely get to see that cult now. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, hey. I watched The Mandalorian a couple of days ago. Ooh, same. Oh, you, oh, Not really? days ago, but I've actually finished it. Oh, really? Nice. Oh, I first, like, amazing. the first season, right? Yeah, I was... Oh, it was wonderful to watch. Have you seen the Clone Wars, though, Adrian? No, I haven't. Oh. I have was... not seen any of Clone Wars, ever. I... I... I mean, like, to me, most of the, like, the payoff was because I, I watched Clone Wars, and yeah. Mandalorian integrates a lot of Clone Wars, like, cool stuff in it. Yeah. The reason I actually watched The Mandalorian was because, mm -hmm. uh... The, the the director I think announced that there may be a few characters from past works like Ahsoka Tano mm -hmm. uh, to be introduced in the Mandalorian in future in future seasons. That'd be fucking sick. And I, I was so hyped. And then I saw that the main protagonist from Jedi Fallen Order was to be considered as well as a Jedi character. Fallen. Oh, really? That would teach Baby Yoda to use the force as a Jedi Master. Yo, this is epic. This is epic. Awesome 100. Wow, crazy. And I, was, oh, I, saw, I saw that article. I saw that article. And I was so fucking hyped. I was like, oh my god, oh my god. He'll be teaching Baby Yoda how to use the force. Two of my favorite characters. Oh, oh, oh. amazing. Do you think Taika Waititi is going to make uh, direct some more of the Mandalorian I, episode? I hope so. He did really well. What, which one did he do? The, fi the finale. Did, that was the final one. one. What happened in the final one? I don't really... Oh, oh. yeah, maybe, maybe Yoda gets punched. Yeah, maybe Yoda yeah. gets punched. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, baby Yoda. All my homies hate baby Yoda. <laughs> it was... It, that, that's the one... Yeah, that's the one where, he, where they go into the sewers, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that well, one was cool. You know Have you watched that? Right? You know that it's something by Take Away TT if a dog dies or a goat dies or in this case a friendly robot dies, then that's usually the sign. Oh, that's right. a good scene though. Uh, yeah, he gets he, he go boom. Yeah, well, I will fulfill my base function. Boom. I will not allow also, capture in a, in a initiating self destruct. We do see his face, right? Yes, or we not? do. Okay, we see Mando's face. Yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I fucking can't. I don't Jin, know. I was Jin Ganjo, I think, is what his name was. I think. I'm not sure. Oh, it was huh? so good. I I forgot what the what the Mandalorian's actual name is. Oh, they no, mentioned I, it quite okay. a few times. Yeah, his, his, the actual name is Pedro Pascal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was. Oh, Pedro Pascal's such a good actor, though. Yeah. There was one scene in the Mandalorian that really annoyed me, and it's yeah. just a nitpick. But it's the one where he explains to her how he can never take off his mask in front of anyone, and then he takes off the helmet by a window. In front of some kids, yeah, in front of some kids. While they're playing, and you go, you just explained to her and like, mother why you can't do this. You can make like a dramatic take off your mask shot. We don't fucking put it in front of some kids that can see you. Yeah, at least put it, uh, at least take it off in, fr on, in your ship or something. Or when, Yoda, when baby Yoda is sleeping. 
I feel like this could have been an easy fix if they had just had like lengthened that scene by like two seconds and show him closing like the curtains of the window so he could still yeah. see that there are people outside, but he's clo making sure no one can see him while he takes it off. Mm -hmm. uh, That's fair. Ooh. Oh, did any of you see the new season of um, Rick and Morty that came out? No. No, I'm oh, not a fan no. of Rick and Morty, so. No, I'm the other one. Oh, you want to talk about it, Adam? No, not really. I don't. I don't know. I, Rick and Morty's one of those shows I go, I watch because I don't know. It's because it's, it's there. Watch, but I'd rather not talk about yeah. it. Yeah, that's a fair point. Whatever I say, someone on the internet's going to go, well, actually, the theory is this, and I'll go, I don't give a shit. He, he's a scientist, an old... He, he turns into a pickle. Guy. Yeah, he <laughs> farts and burps bro, and Turns, and turns into an epic pickle. That's so fucking funny, Epic pickle 100! <laughs> God damn, leave me alone. I just want to see him kill something and then burp afterwards. That's, that's the show to me. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah. That's 90% of it. Yeah, that's, that's what I find. So. Yeah, fair point. You look for any deeper meaning, that's your problem. But episode 7. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what other shows have I seen? What other shows have you you seen, Jordan? Uh, other shows have I seen? Yeah. Uh, I've, recently, I've been watching a lot of car restoration shows. Wow. Restoration. It's yeah, just bro, like, am I right? Is this like the new stuff on the God, history no, channel? That kind of trash. I'll watch the right. highbrow stuff like Car Masters, Rex, Rust to Riches, okay? Uh huh. Do you no, watch... it's actually it's actually really good. But I Have think... you seen Car oh, huh? I think Jack the best. Boy. I think the best car restoration show or of the likes is Scrap Heap Challenge. <laughs> Oh Rex. shit! <laughs> Scrappy challenge, bro. Yeah. Uh, there was one. Robert Llewellyn, and it yeah. was like, the best thing. I've watched a couple of the of the of those episodes when I was in Australia, <laughs> and it was so amazing good. to watch. They literally just go oh, to man. a fucking random scrap heap somewhere and go build a car, and you exactly yeah yeah. <laughs> they oh, go shit. But so isn't Scrap Heat Challenge like quite old now? I remember watching yeah, something it's really like good. that, like when I was five. Okay. Yeah, same. But oh. it was really good. Yeah, it was great. Oh, that reminds me. I watched uh, one of the Grand Tour specials recently. Oh, the Grand Tour? Yeah. I don't remember, oh, the yeah, yeah, which one? Uh, I don't remember what it's called. Give me a second. Is it the Seaman one? No, no, no. It's the, it's the other one. Well, where, where they go up the mountain. Well, they uh, for the for the for Google Mongolia special, I think. For uh, oh yeah, no, yeah. No. For, no, 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 no. They go to uh, they go to was it Colombia to photograph a bunch yeah, of yeah, 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 bunch of wildlife for Amazon. Exactly that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that so much. It was so fun. And and then they're asked to go photograph a hippo in the wild, but they're in South America, and they get really confused, and they're like, "Can we take one from the zoo or something?" and and then they find out, and then they tell the entire story of how Pablo Escobar used to keep hippo, like bought pet hippos. But when they, had, when the police came to um, arrest him at his villa, he released the hippos to make a distraction. And then they got into the waterways and started breeding. And now they're actually becoming a problem in Colombia. <laughs> oh <laughs> man, that, that was really funny. funny. No, but well, they're yeah. a problem. Like Pablo. Yeah. Or has caused this massive invasive species of South American hippos to fucking cause horror. Like, they go into cities and, like, mess shit up now. It's fucking... It's a bit funny. Amazing. I did also start watching the Seamen episode. Yeah, that one... The episode. It's, yeah. it's hard for me to watch. I can them. understand that. I can understand that, yeah. It just... it. I don't know why, but it's the, it's the little things that make me, like... Go. They need a translator. Always with. They always need a translator with them. Cause having them do those weird hand gestures with the nighty nights, or uh, sleep sleep. It's like, oh come on, get a translator, please. It's they're, not that hard to have a translator on your boat. They're just old men that don't care. Just... Oh, but I, like I said, it's just that li those little things that go like, I need I need them to have a translator because that just makes me feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. But otherwise, it's it's fine. I enjoyed it when I watched it. It's like, 
you get like the perfect again the perfect representation of Clarkson pays the most money for a replica ship that doesn't exist anymore. Well, um, I, but I don't know. Clarkson is one of those people where he he's just completely outrageous, but then he does teach you a lot of shit in the show. Exactly. Because I didn't know that they destroyed all the boat. Uh, what was the it? Patrol the, ships, yeah. Patrol ships from Vietnam, and I'm surprised they didn't keep any of them. For, you a, know, for a museum or something. I'm surprised they didn't do that either. But it it just adds to the routine of Hammond going way, uh, way too far on one side, buying a fucking speedboat, and then May on the complete other side, buying like a, a, a granny trolley version of boats, okay. going at about know. five miles an hour. What makes those episodes great is where you can... They're the funny moments that they've prepared and scripted. Well, maybe not scripted, but they have thought of what they wanted to do. But then there's moments where they're, where there's genuine shock. Like, by the end, where they they lost contact with May, and they genuinely have no idea where the fuck he is. And they're genuinely going, he could be dead. We, could, we might have killed our co-host. Yeah, just that genuine mixture of haha funny times. Look, I'm gonna run into your boat. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Oh no. And... Yeah, <laughs> and it's pretty funny. I watch it yeah, it reminds me. Reminds me of the of the Columbia special, where there's one moment where uh, they 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 flip the car around to, to drag it somewhere else, and oh. May's like, "Where the hell's my car? I don't know. Where'd it go?" And then and then like a couple minutes after that, they have to cross. A tiny ass bridge that may uh, that Hammond almost couldn't fit across and would have fallen into the river. Yeah, about a hundred feet down. It's like it's a perfect mixture of hilarious and very shocking moments. So that's why I love the Grand Tour most of the times, um, especially like specials at least. You know what show I've also been watching lately because of the quarantine, the Arrested Development. Oh, Ooh. I watched a bit of that. That's... Yeah. Is that the Michael Sarah one? It is Michael Sarah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's the Michael Sarah one. Um, it's weird. Oh, it is yeah. definitely weird as hell. It's so weird. It's, it's so like, like incesty shit, doesn't it? Yeah, it genuinely does. It it it's it because the entire like Michael Sarah's character gets a crush on his cousin and stuff and like he feels super guilty about it throughout the entire thing and he's like That's oh. normal guys, come on. No, 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 like, fine, sure, there, I, people, some, uh, I don't know, I No, never... I'm joking, I'm, I'm absolutely joking here. But, it's not normal. <laughs> he has a crush on her, and then, like, he deals with that, and he gets over it, but then, I've gotten to, what, season three, and the plot point of him having a crush on his cousin is really, mostly, him going, I need a, I, I need a stop, and then he does eventually, but then it comes back, where, they, where they accidentally kiss or something, and then it, mm. I don't know. That, but then it's the show is just really weird because the pe all the people are in it are just these horrible, selfish people, and a lot of the time where you're like, uh, the show tries to make you feel sympathy for them. I don't feel sympathy for them. I think they're horrible, horrible people. And they should all rot in jail, you know. They're you know they're the yeah. type of people that never worked a day in their life, you know. And the only yeah. person you feel any sympathy well, there are two people you feel no, actually, I'd say there are three people you feel sympathy for, and that's the two cousins and the main guy, the dad. The two cousins is just because one of the cousins just has two parents that just suck ass, and the other cousin he's just a regular kid that has to live with all these fucked up people. And then the dad is, like, the only one who's ever worked. He's the only one who's smart enough to, like, run a company. And he just gets fucked all the time by his fucked up family. It's just... Yeah. And then they play it all off as funny. It's one of those shows that I laugh at a lot. I watch a lot. But at the end of the day, I hope all the characters just, like, lose. Mm. That they just end up in prison. Yeah. I want them to end up in prison. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. I see, but I, it is a comedy show, right? Just check it. Yeah, it's, it's, it is like, a comedy it's, show. It's not, they don't take this serious at all. You know, okay. they also have, at the end of every episode, they have the next on arrest, oh. next episode of Arrested Development, but it's, but they, 
all the scenes they put in there never actually show up in the next episode. They're always kind <laughs> of like mini skits in a way. Like, oh, they're, they're all like, disconnected? Yeah, they're, they're always disconnected. There's like, um, they're always like slightly connected to the episode that was just shown, but they never actually show up in the next episode. So there's, okay. there was one where, um, so one character loses his hand and there's like, uh, and then on the thing is like on the next on the next episode of Arrested Development, he um, he has to deal with a seal paranoia, and he just enters this like room of teddy bears, and there's a bunch of stuffed seals anywhere, and he's just having a panic attack, and it has it's never brought up again, never. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. Okay, that's pretty funny. Uh, okay, well, yeah, I think that's. Anyone else want to do? Let's do something Jack wants to talk about because he hasn't actually spoken in a while. Yeah, I don't Jack. speak. End. Yeah. <laughs> don't so this is your podcast. You need to speak. I don't know what to talk about. Yeah, don't you know me, young man? Don't you know me? Like an hour and a half already. Yeah, literally. It's mm -hmm. Literally. Okay, then can I then can I talk about something? Yeah. Sure. Recently, like I watched 1917. It's a good film. It is a oh, very good the, film. the war one? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All filmed to be a, a, as one cut. Like to one, look continuous, like one, one continuous cut. To look like one cut. To look like it. It's got yeah. like thousands of micro cuts in it to make yeah. the to make the movie yeah, seem as seamless as possible. Be like, you can't. Like, yeah, like yeah obviously, exactly. Like you can't. Batman. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Like you can't have a movie. Like that, moving like with the cameraman moving with the actors up a hill, down a hill, across a crevice or something. You need a, you need it on a rail or something. No, it's and, impossible. Or that, but it needs mm -hmm. to have cuts. And yeah, the way they made it seem was absolutely amazing. Yeah. You have I see. to cut it because there's just no way you can take yeah. record so much data. Like before, the problem was with like tape you didn't have enough tape to in one roll to film it continuously in one go but now the problem is just we don't have enough data store like the the way to store the data of the digital cameras isn't efficient enough or isn't large enough to just take it all in one take it's kind of well the actors insane. keep fucking up and we have to redo shit <laughs> yeah it's yeah the just... whole literally the whole workload again yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, imagine if he just makes a mistake right at the end of the film. It's like, oh, fuck, oh, two hours of this. Like, 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 yeah, like, the, like the, the, the one random French character says, instead of, oh, your head, it's, oh, your stomach. Like, shit! Fuck. I fucked fuck. up. Oh, Guys, fuck. go back, go back. Cool. Hang on, now we need to walk a whole kilometer back. <laughs> Oh, oh, guys, no. come on, we need to clean up the fucking trenches now. We need to clean up the bunker that's been bombed. Yeah. All right, oh, yeah. guys. It's a war movie, so they'd have to clean up all the special effects and shit. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah, hey. the bottle explodes, the craters. Oh, fake blood. And fake blood is fucking horrible to clean up. I have experience with fake blood. It's yeah. A complete mess. Uh, what experience? Well, well, no, I, you know, my mom's an artist, and she, she does... A lot of different stuff all the time, and they look usually like this corn syrup kind of shit, and it's oh, just yeah. yes, most like basically every time you see fake blood on a person, remember that it's usually the most sticky and disgusting shit to be mm -hmm. honest. So you have and to like real blood, yeah, which is <laughs> yeah, unlike real yummy blood. And... <laughs> real blood is yummy and sweet. Mm -hmm. Delicious. And totally shouldn't belong inside Confirmed your body. Oscar's a vampire. Yeah. 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 Everyone happy? Yes. Yeah. And I love how he went through this, like, like, this is one of the most politically and news, like, oriented times I've ever been in. <laughs> like, with regards to current events. Yeah, and I haven't even mentioned that. Just games and movies, which is well, funny. Um, I, I mean, when we have ever mentioned current events in this podcast? I fair, fair. Was there a time? the most the most current events thing we've ever mentioned was E three. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, to be fair, it wouldn't be happening. Yeah, it would be happening. It would be happening a couple of This days, could yeah. have been an E3 yeah. podcast, but no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have all this stored up stuff from e, uh, E3 20, 2019 that we just haven't used at all. I mean, we just I kind of like stopped writing at some I like kind of stopped taking notes and I just got bored and just did went there and now I'm not going to do an E3 this E3 <laughs> podcast this year the, the fuck, fuck it. it no E3 and we never Jeff. did yeah Jack, are you the reason they cancelled E3 this year yes did you cancel E3 oh Jack oh, I'm sorry Jack. I'm sorry to all our viewers Jack is the reason yeah. Jack is a secret millionaire and he bought all the tickets that said no E3 this year <laughs> Jack give if Jack take And then they cancelled it. But all the ultimate gamer tickets. The ultimate gamer ticket. <laughs> that's, I'm so ashamed that that's what they're called. Wait, actually? Is that what they're actually called? Wait, um, the the actual the, the the normal tickets you can get for one for one sixty five or one thirty five are basic gamer tickets, and <laughs> the ones you get for nine ninety nine to access the show floor on day, on day one. Are called ultimate gamer tickets. Holy <laughs> shit! He's right. What the <laughs> ultimate? <laughs> you are the ultimate gamer. <laughs> you paid a thousand bucks for an E3 ticket. Here you go, ultimate gamer. You're the ultimate gamer. You pay. You buy microtransactions in real life. You're the oh, ultimate oh. gamer. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you paid one thousand dollars in microtransactions. Are you happy now, sir? It literally is fucking microtransactions, so come on. Yeah, I, I, let's be honest, guys. Taxes, just microtransactions in real life. So Ooh. I feel like no taxes Not and... Really. We... Not really, because he's... And call me a gamer. Or a hacker. Like, no, because yeah. it. No, call me a gamer. It's not really microtransactions in real life, because for microtransactions to make the excuse of, oh, you don't have to buy them, you can just play the game normally. And, and unlock it eventually through game time, but after yeah. a thousand hours, you still have not unlocked everything. But with taxes, you might you... as well just want to buy it. But with taxes, they can't tell you that because you just have to pay them. Otherwise, you're committing a crime. You know what? Taxes? I don't want to pay you if I don't have to. Well, actually, tax law states you need to pay them. Well, okay. Oscar, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay, so are you playing on your real... Switch? Hollow Knight mm. again? Final, no. Final statement? I'm British because the stupid Americans threw the tea in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> what? That is the truest statement I've heard today. I fucking love it. I'm British because the stupid Americans threw the tea in the ocean. Because, like, they can't say they're a tea. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 well, I know what you're reference, referencing, but why? I thought it was funny. It is did, funny. Did you, like, see a meme on Reddit and just, like, Yeah, no, on Twitter, <laughs> I was like, oh, that's pretty good. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that reminds me, that reminds me of a, of, a, of a post I saw on Reddit today, which was... Going to the political side of thing. Oh, no. They... Uh, take in, cover! In, in the Jedi Fallen Order subreddit, I saw... A cabs, wrong. Cops are not so bad. And then I saw an entire wall of people defending cops, and then people really? rebutting that statement and going, "All cops are bad. All cops are bastards. You know the good cops oh, yeah. are not good cops because good cops would do their job properly." I'm like, "Okay, buddy, I don't want to read this. This is my Star Wars subreddit. I don't want to read this politically charged bullshit." Wow. <sighs> I ended up reading it anyways. <laughs> yeah, then, now you're talking about it on a podcast. I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't want this to get too political because I feel like in a... I don't, I'm not saying people shouldn't get political. I got put... I went to the rally. Oscar, you were also there. Oh, I was there. Yeah, yeah. So, but... I'm not saying people shouldn't get political, but I'm saying there should be outlets that aren't political in sense because sometimes you just need a break from that yeah. as well. I, 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 I stopped reading the news. <laughs> I'm forced to watch even know what's happening? every night. But yeah, that's it, it. It's just depressing every time you look at it and you go, oh shit, the world is ending. Oh great, yeah. oh, cool. Well, oh, and another man goes shot himself on Yeah. Because yeah. that's like the news just 
every time you go, oh shit, some more bad stuff's happening. Well, oh, great. Oh, some guy got murdered. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the uh, People's Broadcast. Episode 8. Yes. Eight? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> We've been doing this for like two years. Yeah. We've been doing this for two years. <laughs> we were meant to... uploaded, by, uploaded every two weeks, and then we took a break. We were meant to do this. We time like, traveled. We were meant to do this like once a month, for, like once or twice a month or something, and we did like yeah, we eight were supposed to do it two, two times. Uh, we were supposed to do it once every two weeks. <laughs> I, uh, Look, yeah, we, we, became, we were supposed to do it like twice a week. Can you blame me? We meant no, to guys. do it twice a week, and we did, and we've done eight episodes in like what three years. Two years around. Yeah, yeah. No, guys, come on. Two and a half years. Don't forget the lore, guys. We are the doctor. We, we are. We are just traveling mm-hmm. <laughs> through time and space. All right. We. Right. We've just we've just managed to come back in time. Well, two years later. Yeah, we have about seven. There, we have about twenty episodes reserved. Exactly. Just now it's not time for bulk releases, guys. Be ready. Uh, oh no. <laughs> Does this mean I have to do yeah. another uh, uh, rocket propelled grenades episode? You mean another twenty RPGs? Find them quickly. If you want. Uh, we need more stuff. We have like two shows. The Hungarian word "olo" means scissors and looks like scissors. Thank you. Okay, Oscar gets like <laughs> okay. Oscar has an idea. He has like a fact show where he just spouts random facts. Well, that's just that Adam's creepy questions. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, well, Oscar. Os- Oscar's quirky facts was fine, but Adam's quirky <laughs> questions was across the line. What the <laughs> fuck? Adam, Adam, your quirky question turned into an hour-long game. I didn't what know it turned into an hour-long game. And guess what? It inspired. It inspired a new show. Yeah, it did. did. I guess now we need a gaming show. It's work in progress. It's literally I have literally something prepared for gaming, but like, it's just we need to we need to discuss what we want to do with it. Jack and Jordan play through payday every heist. All right, yeah, that's literally the last thing on Twitch. Lad, exactly. guys, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. We are professional streamers. The fuck you talking about? Exactly, but I haven't streamed. We last... haven't streamed since we last played Payday. Yeah. We have, the world record. we have the world record in the co-op Lord of the Rings. <sighs> Yo, right. I remind you. Yo, that's, oh. that's, that's, that's us, though. It's only the pro gamers here. You know, uh... um, 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 I don't belong here. <laughs> oh, no, no. Jordan is not a pro gamer. He's not a oh, pro not a gamer. Champion. He doesn't sorry, have guys, a I'm not a champion. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not a champion. He wasn't. He didn't stay up 25 and a half hours. <laughs> Played Lego <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Look, yeah, yeah, I was that. willing to do it, and then you were like, "No, we already have four people. Four people's already enough." Like, okay, well, I guess I'm yeah. not participating. You barely got away with doing it with four people. I'm just saying. Yeah. No, you got away. You got away with a warning saying, "Please don't do this again." <laughs> the same like point. you're gonna do it again. Well, I mean, we almost did. We wanted to do it drunk, but then we like, eh, no. No, no. It was bad enough doing it sober. I'm not yeah. doing it. <laughs> I think I think that was like your only condition to do it again, Adam, was to do it drunk. I guess I don't know. It's just now looking back at it, I'm going, oh yeah, I could do that again. But then <laughs> remember I, doing I, it, and you go, oh fuck, that was yeah, awful. Yeah, no, and, I, and I just remember <laughs> I how had awful fun. I felt. I had fun as well. I'm not saying I didn't have fun, but yeah. I also remember the point of the night. Where we were basically zombies and not communicating whatsoever, <laughs> and it was just the weirdest shit ever. Yeah. So you look back on the stream and you go, I do not remember that at all. Yeah, there are genuinely points where you go, When the fuck did I do that? Yeah. yeah. I love that. I love the like the last five minutes where you're all just like, what do we do here? Where do we go? Yeah. Where do we go to finish this game? I don't know. I didn't know. The game who, was was playing, who was playing at the time? I think it was Noah and... Me. I think. Was it yeah. you and Noah? Yeah. Yeah, and then, and then I called and then Adam picked up. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. It was just the last five minutes. And it's and like, yeah. where do we go? Oh my god. We're just supposed to go back here. 
oh my god, we did it! It was like, that was like the best part of the stream, yeah, and I like watched about five watch. hours of it. Hey, do you, uh, yeah. hey, do you guys know Frederick Knudsen? Like, remember Down the Rabbit Hole? The, yeah, yeah, I know the channel. I, I was playing SCS 300 yesterday, and he was casting it. Oh, really? Yeah. That's really fucking cool, what? Yeah, like he was commentate. He was like competitively commentating over the whole thing. He isn't he like like? I mean, he's got more than hundred k subscribers, right? Maybe a million. I think, I think sure. more. Yeah, yeah. Like a lot. I mean, I'll send you a link. That's really cool. Mm. Jack is the most professional gamer out of us all. Yeah. Yeah, seven yeah, seven hundred round okay. one. That's quite cool. Yeah. Hey, no, enough. Poppycock. Oh yeah, we're supposed to end this. Is, okay. Yeah. Is the recording still going? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Okay. Well, we are professional podcasters. Um, very professional. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We we're so yeah, frequent we in our uploads. Yeah, so frequent we have a thriving fan base. So far ahead that like the, the, we're so far ahead that YouTube can catch up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Our so, fan base is just one person. We said good video. And yeah. even then, that's difficult to describe. <laughs> All right. So I say, yeah, we we'll, we we'll leave it here. Everyone, say goodbye. Till next uh, time. Bye. Till next, next time. Till which is three and another time. one and a half. <laughs> Maybe oh, yeah. in like one and a half. University years. special, let's go. We'll have E3 2023 so special. Maybe. <laughs> 2023 special, lad. E3 2020 special in 2024. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can finally do, we like look back on 2019 and we finally go, oh, now we take notes on it and do 2019 special. <laughs> but like three years later. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Well. All right. Farewell all right. to all. Farewell to all of you.